Kubernetes is one of the most popular open source projects in the world. Can you reflect on this explosive growth and how you're keeping up with that? Kubernetes is developed at a scale really beyond almost any other software. It's actually number two only to Linux. When a Linux developer makes a patch or has a fix, they can compile and test it on their own machine. For a lot of things with Kubernetes, you actually need to spin up a cluster. Google's been providing this infrastructure to the project since it started in 2014, but because of the way they were providing it, it was only allowed to be administered by Google staff. This is now gonna be an open process that anyone can get involved in SIG testing and contribute and get engaged and essentially become a system administrator for the Kubernetes development process. And then in order to fund that work, Google has contributed $9 million in Google Cloud credits, which is our estimate of what the cost will be over the next three years. It really has been a fantastic experience and, and on almost any possible metric of um, people attending KubeCon was 500 two and a half years ago to we just had, uh, where you were with us, 4,300 people in Copenhagen. We're expecting 7,000 in, in Seattle in December uh, to the number of members we have, where we just hit 287 at CNCF. And we have over 3,000 unique contributors to Kubernetes. Uh, that's just uh, actual authors writing code in the last year. Over 10,000 people have been commenting or engaging in other ways in the community. This is really about a new paradigm of how to deploy software and a lot of enterprises out there are realizing that they can accelerate their development velocity, they can get new features and fix bugs and, and serve customers better and faster, and that they can do it in a way that actually saves the money, that they can run uh, the same workload at with less servers or with a fixed number of servers can suddenly start doing much more.